At first glance, Brink might look like just another shooter. Bullets fly, men fall, and points are awarded. But with the inclusion of parkour-style mechanics and an emphasis on teamwork, Brink might be agile enough to stand out in a sea of similar games. Brink takes place in a post-apocalyptic future where Earth has been completely flooded and the remnants of humanity are packed together in a huge floating city known as the Ark. The civil war over the remaining resources will be fought by players. I am ready! Then let's do this! While the option to go solo does exist, you'll be able to participate in the same objective-based campaign whether you're playing online or off. Players can drop in and out of these ongoing 16-player games or set up specialized multiplayer matches. However you're playing, you'll find that Brink tinkers with the existing formula for FPS success by eliminating one-hit kills from headshots and explosions, which changes the game's overall strategy. Rather than clearing out areas completely, grenades are effective in disorienting opponents or keeping them at bay while your squad advances. There's an increased focus on tactics and teamwork here that certainly gives the game a different feel, but it remains to be seen whether or not this will create a more balanced and enjoyable experience. Completing objectives is made easier due to the game's smart system, which allows players to easily traverse terrain by hopping a fence, climbing a wall, or sliding under barriers. Additionally, players can bring up a menu that displays current mission objectives, some of which are specific to your team, but others that are unique to your character and dynamically updated based on your situation. If you're not satisfied with your class or weapon loadout, you can hit up a command post within any level and change roles and swap out weapons with preset configurations or customized setups in your profile. In Brink, your character's physical build is just as important as your class selection. Bigger characters will be able to wield heavy-duty weapons, such as a minigun or rapid-fire grenade launchers, but the trade-off is less mobility. On the flip side, smaller body types can move through the environment quickly and efficiently, but can only wield handguns or small submachine guns. Your class does determine your general role, however, with four flavors. Medics heal and resurrect, engineers buff teammates and lay down defenses, soldiers blow things up and resupply ammo, and operatives disguise and frustrate. Sky successful! Character and weapon customization still relies on experience points, like many other contemporary shooters. But your accumulated experience in the single-player campaign carries over into multiplayer and vice versa. Points are used to upgrade weapons or buy new abilities for your character, but they're not the only way to customize. Players can also tweak many aspects of their physical appearance, and you'll have 16 savable character slots to work with. Your customized gear and abilities are persistent across all game modes, so you can expect to see a bit of variety in the combinations. Brink's team-based multiplayer mayhem arrives in North America on May 17th, and GT will be disseminating full intel regarding this ambitious game's ability to deliver on its promise of a new experience.